the mission of the Stroud Center is to advance knowledge and stewardship of fresh water through global research, education, and watershed restoration. It's that unique aspect of being an independent nonprofit and having these three aspects of our mission that are really interdependent. The scientific research can be done in isolation in you know, the typical ivory tower, but here we have a direct conduit to help digest the scientific information and present it to the public with our environmental education program. Watershed restoration part of our mission is the active engagement with landowners to help them do the right thing on their land. I've traveled around the world and my eyes are open and my ears are open and there is a global and local shortage of clean, fresh water. In the United States, it's safe to say that about half of all streams are measurably degraded. If this was your backyard and you had 10 different bird species, this would be like losing half of them. When it's in the water and they're insects, people don't notice it. What they're doing for us is they're sampling that stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We know that streams today are better than they were 30 years ago and 40 years ago. We know that because, for example, with aquatic insects, we might find twice as many of the sensitive species today as we would have seen in 1960 or 1970. Things were really bad, they've gotten better, we have room to do even more. You'll never reduce the need for clean water, we'll never really reduce the need to use the land. We need places to work, places to live, food to eat. That's not ever going to become less common as long as we have the number of people that we have today. So it's about balancing. We still want those activities, houses, factories, offices, farms, but we don't want the net effect of dirty water. the first 20 years, the focus was really on the research. But through the evolution of that research, there's an obvious recognition that what's happening in the stream is a direct result of what's happening on the landscape. Some of the work we're doing today involve studying what happens to water as it moves through a farm field. When water runs off a farm field during really heavy rain events, it carries silt and soil particles and other things that are attached to that material, fertilizers, pesticides. With the addition of the watershed restoration team to the Stroud Center, as well as the education team, we're really trying to figure out how we as a society can occupy watersheds without actually ruining the stream ecosystems that are draining them. I would like to hope that 100 years from now we have unlimited access to clean, fresh water anywhere in the United States and for that matter anywhere in the world. And I think the things that we are doing today are really important, especially the research and the education that we're doing here at the Stroud Center to assuring that the next generation and generations after that have access to clean, fresh water because it is the most precious substance on earth and it is the one substance on earth that cannot be substituted for.